These glass drops are almost indestructible until their fragile tails are broken and then they explode. They're called Prince Rupert's drops and they were brought to England to be studied in the 17th century by Prince Rupert of the Rhine. I will show you the equipment you will need, teach you how to make them, and give you a brief explanation of how they actually work. If you watch all the way to the end, I'll even show you what happens when you break one underwater. We will be working with a torch and breaking glass, so safety glasses are definitely a necessity. You will need an open space free of any flammable objects, so remove anything that could catch fire. You don't want to have to use your backup fire extinguisher, do you? In your free space, you'll need a bowl with water in it, a torch for melting the glass, glass to actually melt and turn into the Rupert's drop, and just to double check, you're wearing your safety glasses, right? To make a Prince Rupert's drop, position the torch over the water and slowly introduce the tip of the glass into the flame. Hold the glass rod so the tip of the flame is focused on the glob of glass forming at the end of the rod as it melts. Keep the flame on the center of the drop so as it falls it is as hot as possible when it enters the water. Now that the drop is in the water it is in the hands of science. The glass in contact with the water hardens immediately solidifying the shape of the drop while the molten glass on the inside is still cooling and trying to contract. The cooled glass on the outside is put under extremely high compressive forces from the slower contracting glass on the inside. These internal stresses can be seen visually when the drop is filmed between a polarizing light source and a polarizing lens. The different colors appearing are the different levels of stress in the drop. You can see how as the tail goes on, the colors taper with the tail, showing the internal stresses built up in them. The concentration of internal stresses mean that the drop's heads are extremely strong and can withstand hits from a hammer and even bullets in some cases. Meanwhile, the tail being broken allows all of these stresses to be released in the form of kinetic energy. If you learned something, found this helpful, or just wanted to say how cute my cat was, hitting the like button, subscribing, and commenting what you thought would be greatly appreciated. Also, as I promised, here's the video of it exploding underwater. If you want a Prince Rupert's drop without having to make your own, you can also check out my Etsy where I sell them.